for last month when I was going through Jasper, Alabama, and I went and went and got the uh, did a video on the grave side of uh, George Lindsay, uh, Goober Powell on Andy Griffin. When I looked up the cemetery, there was a lot, uh, several other notable, famous people in that graveyard, and they were all a part of one family, the Bankhead family. Very accomplished family in Alabama. Uh, so, and when I was headed to his grave, I actually saw their plot, and they're all buried there together. Very accomplished. Uh, every one of them I'd normally do a video on individually, but they were all there together, and I got a video of all their the grave sites that were there together, and uh, I'll try to briefly tell you tell you their uh, their story and why they're notable. And uh, anyway, this is the Bankhead family from North Alabama. I'm assuming it's the people that the Bankhead National Forest is named after. But anyway, here's their graves and uh, and their stories. John Hollis Bankhead, born 13 September 1842 in Moscow, Alabama died 1 March 1920 at the age of 77. He served as a member of the Alabama House of Representatives from 1865 to 1867 and from 1881 to 1885, member of the Alabama State Senate from 1876 to 1877. He was a delegate to the Democrat National Convention from Alabama in 1912. He was a United States Congressman from 1887 until 1907 and a U.S. Senator from 1907 until his death in 1920. In the center of the family plot is this big memorial, and this memorial is to him, and this memorial reads, If when my course is run, when my activities are ended, a simple slab with the epitaph, here lies the man who inaugurated Federal aid for highways marks my resting place. That is all the honor I want. And this is his gravesite with his wife, Tallulah Bankhead. He was the first in a long line of successful people. And this is one of his sons, William Brockman Bankhead, Born in Lamar County, Alabama, 12 April 1874, and died 15 September 1940 at the age of 66. Graduated from the University of Alabama in 1893, he practiced law in Huntsville, Alabama. He was a member of the Alabama House of Representatives from 1900 to 1901. Huntsville City Attorney from 1898 to 1902. Solicitor of the 14th Judicial Circuit of Alabama from 1910 to 1914. He was elected as a Democrat to the United States Congress, where he served 12 consecutive terms from 1917 to 1940. He serves as the Speaker of the House of Representatives from 1936 to 1940. Shortly after his final term, he died at the age of 66. I think of all the Bankhead men uh, buried here, I think this guy was probably the most uh, successful. I mean, he was uh, Speaker of the House. Uh, it was pretty significant. This is John Hollis Bankhead II, son of John Hollis Bankhead and brother of William Brockman Bankhead. He was born 8 July 1872 in Lamar County, Alabama died 12 June 1946 at the age of 73. He graduated from the University of Alabama. He was a major in the Alabama National Guard from 1901 to 1903. He was a member of the Alabama House of Representatives from 1904 to 1905. President of the Bankhead Coal Company from 1911 to 1925. He was a trustee at the University of Alabama. He was elected as a Democrat to the United States Senate in 1931 and served until his death from a stroke at the age of 73. On his grave marker, it reads, he was the author of many effective laws for improving rural life and for getting the farmer 
a just return for labor, nationally regarded as the voice of the land. And this is Walter William Bankhead, or Will, born 21 July 1897 in Jasper, Alabama, and died 24 November 1988 at the age of 91. He was the son of John Hollis Bankhead II and grandson of John Hollis Bankhead. He was a graduate of the Marion Alabama Military Institute in 1916, from the University of Alabama in 1919, and from the Law Department in 1920. He practiced law in Jasper, Alabama. He was a delegate to the Democrat Convention at Chicago in 1940. He was elected to the U.S. Congress in January 1941. In February 1941, one month later, he resigned to resume his law practice in Jasper. He was also the chairman of the board of Bankhead Mining Company, the Bankhead Development Company, president of the Mammoth Packing Company, vice chairman of the board of directors for the First National Bank, and the Bankhead Broadcasting Radio Company until his death at the age of 91. He was very accomplished, but I would say probably a little less accomplished. He obviously didn't want to hold national office since he only held it for one month. So that's the family. Um, that's, I, I'm sorry I had to break up the video a little bit to kind of to kind of get these guys in a certain kind of order so I could tell their story. So. I just at the end of this, I'm running the whole video. It shows not only their graves, but the the graves of the rest of the bankheads. It's got all all one real real big family plot here, and uh, like I said, pretty significant people in here, especially for North Alabama. So I had to break the video up a little bit to show you show you their grave markers and grave sites in the, in the order I wanted to show you, but. I'm going to run the video I took of the uh, family plot here in its entirety so you can see the rest of it. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to tell you about the uh, forest that's real close to here, just a few miles from Jasper, Alabama. It's the Bankhead National Forest, which is named after William Brockman Bankhead, uh, the one I showed you a few minutes ago that was Speaker of the House. The William B. Bankhead National Forest is one of Alabama's four national forests covering 181,230 acres. It is home to Alabama's only national wild and scenic river, the Sipsi Fork. It is located in northwestern Alabama around the town of Double Springs. It is named in honor of William B. Bankhead, a longtime U.S. representative from Alabama and Speaker of the House. The forest is known as the Land of a Thousand Waterfalls. This national forest is a popular for hiking, horseback riding, hunting, boating, fishing, swimming, canoeing, and more. Within the forest lies the Sipsi Wilderness, with a host of wildlife and an abundance of swift streams, limestone bluffs, and waterfalls. Native American relics around in Bankhead, one of the southern United States premier sites for petroglyphs prehistoric drawings and rock carvings at sites such as the Kenlock Shelter. The forest headquarters is in Montgomery, Alabama, as are all four of the Alabama National Forests. The other national forests in the state are Connecticut, Talladega, and Tuskegee. There are local range district offices located in Double Springs for the Bankhead National Forest. The forest was established as Alabama National Forest on January 15, 1918. And on June 19, 1936, it was renamed Black Warrior National Forest, which in turn was renamed William B. Bankhead National Forest on June 6, 1942. I know this video wasn't supposed to be about the Bankhead National Forest, so I was just trying to fill up the space a little bit with something while I showed the rest of this family plot. George Lindsley from the Andy Griffith Show is buried about 100 meters from here.
and that's the bank heads. Uh, like I said, very, very accomplished. A lot of people in that family did a lot of things. So, uh, must have been in the water or something. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and let me know what you think about the video. Thanks for watching.